the peg checklist from Jazzit. This is a quick overview of how to use the peg checklists available from Jazzit. Copying the checklist into your client files, general functionality available in the checklists, the electronic letterhead feature, and the electronic signature feature. Copying checklists into your files. The checklists are copied into the client files from the PEG master file provided by Jazzit using Caseway's copy components function. The checklist can be copied directly into existing Caseway files so there's no need to start a new client file when using the Jazzit PEG checklists. General functionality available. The general checklist functionality available to the file preparers. Starting with a summary of balances table at the top of the documents. Here, users have the option to use either dollar or percentage variance. The lines linked to the trial balance are linked by account by default. But this default link type can be changed using this drop down. You can also include a full 5 years in the Variance Analysis table. By opening the folder Notes for the Preparer and checking off this checkbox. When we then jump to the Summary of Balances section, the table has been expanded using the full 5 years of history available in the Caseware file. In the Procedure tables, if a procedure is not required for a specific engagement, you can set the entire section to skip using the drop down to the right of the section headings and selecting NA. The section is then skipped as indicated by the blue text which does not print. You could also simply double click the drop down cell to apply the NA. You don't need to select it from the drop down options. When NA is selected, the preparer's initials and system date are automatically applied as well. When responding to the individual procedures in a section, you can either select your response from these drop-downs by clicking on them and selecting Yes, No or Not Applicable. You can also simply double-click on the cell which then cycles through the options available without having to select from the drop-down list. As the responses are applied, the user's initials and the system date are applied automatically as well. In the Working Paper Reference column, you can reference any document on the Document Manager of the file using this drop-down. You can reference multiple documents by clicking the drop-down cell again and making subsequent selections. To view any of the reference documents, Simply right click on the cell and select the document from the list. You can also right click to clear the references. If you hover the cursor over references to other checklists, like this reference to form 20502, you will notice the tooltip indicates you are able to open the reference document by double clicking the reference, which could be a handy time saver. The right-click menu options on the Express buttons are consistent with the options in the Fundamentals documents. To explore the options available in any particular section, simply right-click the Express button and the options available for that specific section of the document are available for selection. You also have the option to change the presentation of the bullets for each procedure. By right-clicking on the bullet, and selecting the preferred presentation from the options available. If you wish to prevent any changes to the procedure wording in the checklists, you have the option to lock down these cells in the Resource Center. In the Resource Center copy of the checklist, you can adjust the edit options using this drop-down by selecting No Access to Edit Mode. These cells are then locked down, preventing any access to the content. 
If you require customized additional procedures, you can access a library of possible additional procedures using this button. Clicking the button opens up Part E containing the possible additional procedures and Part E is referenced in Part C once it's opened where you can turn on the procedures you require using these checkboxes. Electronic Letterhead Clients using our electronic letterhead feature with their JASID Fundamentals templates can use this letterhead for the letters included with the PEG order checklist as well. There are two letters included with the PEG order checklists. The audit findings letter and the audit planning letter. The electronic letterhead can be applied to these letters as well. To demonstrate this, let's open the audit findings letter. To load the letterhead for this letter, open the document settings area by clicking on this icon. And use this button to reload the letterhead from the JASIT Fundamentals Resource Center, the Caleb file. Then, when we preview the letter, your firm's letterhead is included. Electronic Signatures Clients using the electronic signature with their JASIT Fundamentals templates can use this feature in the JASIT PEG checklists as well. In the checklists utilizing this feature, the partner names are available via this drop-down cell in the signature block of the documents. The default partner name is set in the JASIT Financial Statements in the file, but you can select a different partner's name using this drop-down and selecting the partner's name required. The Signature Off button is then available. To apply your electronic signature, click the button and enter the appropriate password for the signature selected. If the correct password has been entered, the signature image is embedded in the document. Caseware should be easy. To find out how, visit us at www.jazit.com. Mm -hmm.